Shay. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you're new here, thanks so much. I do videos on nursing, beauty, and lifestyle weekly. And for this semester, I'm taking you guys through my MP journey with me with vlogs. So make sure you subscribe if you're interested in any of those topics. But today, we're going to be doing a throwback video. So if any of you guys have been watching me for a while, you know one of my first disastrous videos was a what's in my nursing bag. And it really wasn't disastrous. I think it was helpful, but it was at a time when I was getting used to YouTube and you know I was just going with the flow so today we're gonna do an updated one of those videos will it be much different than that one I don't know but I am gonna make sure I give you guys some updates on what's in my bag what's changed due to the pandemic and you know just how to be prepared for work so hopefully you guys will be able to you know give me some insight on what's in your bag I give you some insight on what's in my bag you know we use these ideas and then we have the perfect bag right right <laughs> all right but make sure you guys stay tuned we're gonna go ahead and get right into it okay guys so as we get started with this what's in my nurse bag video of course the first thing I know many of you guys are gonna want to know it's what is my nurse bag so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys real quick this is my most recent nurse bag and let me just show you guys the inside and then we're gonna talk a little bit about the bag so that's the inside I do have some stuff hanging out in the bottom of there <laughs> Um, there's two side pockets for like water bottles and things like that. I have some front pockets. You guys see I have some lotion. Yes, because your girl be ashy sometimes. And then there's also three back pockets. So if I'm able to like insert some clips of a full view without me like doing all types of things in the video, I'll definitely do that at this time. But let's talk about this bag. So the bag that I have right now is part of the 31 Signature Collection. Um, I was put onto these bags by people I work with. I've seen so many girls come to work and they have their names on the front of the bags. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so, you know, so extra. I don't need all that. But then when I seen the functionality of the bag, as you guys can see, I was very intrigued. So you can definitely get one of these bags if you know anyone that's a 31 representative. Um, I honestly don't remember who I got my bag from. I think I actually just went online and looked for a representative because I didn't know anyone at the time. But um, check around with your, you know, front circle, your group. If you see someone with the bag, ask them. But it's very functional and I really love it. I think it only costs, if I remember, $30 or $40. If I can include some details down in the description box, I will. I've had that bag since 2018. Um, the only time I did not use that bag is when COVID first got bad and I actually switched out for like a dollar tree bag and I used that because I was too afraid of taking that back and forth but now that things are slowing down a little bit and we have more you know protective cautions and I know what to do to kind of decon I'm more comfortable using my functional bag so that's the bag I've been using I love it and I just had to share that with you guys first so when I go into my bag guys the first thing I pick out is this pink case I know a lot of you guys have probably seen this on Amazon so this is perfect for holding your stethoscope as well as your pens for the shift so I'm gonna unzip it and go right in and show you guys what I have so as you guys can see one side I hold my stethoscope which is a Lippmann cardiology 4 you guys have heard me talk about the stethoscope millions of times highly recommended um, one of the best stethoscopes that I own personally um, mine is in the um, breast cancer pink color so um, the proceeds that were used I believe went to help for breast cancer and then on the other side of my case is just all my usual pens for shift will I go through the millions of pens with you guys absolutely not but you guys all know probably from hearing me talk before my most favorite color pen is the paper mate ink joys and then I also use a four click color pen which I think is super essential for anybody who is a nurse because I color code things at work at school everywhere just to kind of keep me going and I think that pen is just very universal where you don't have to carry mil millions of things in your pocket um, I think I have an expo marker which is for my whiteboards I try to stay up to date on my whiteboards as much as I can it's tough sometimes because it gets hard but we do it and then I also have a sharpie for like either if there's wound changes if I need to mark something and I have a pencil in here for our s bars because we do use pencils on the s bars and I think that's it I have another four click pen this one has all the pretty girly colors so like purple pink green blue um yeah that's in there but that's pretty much my like pens as far as things that go in my pocket during the shift and like I said my stethoscope the cardiologist 
Cardiology for by Lipman, and I do have a roll of tape on there to you know help me throughout the shift if I need tape. The next thing that's in my bag for nursing is what I like to call my cow bag or my go bag. I'm not going to go through every single thing in here, um, but I do think that it's necessary to have one of these so you always have certain things with you. So when it comes to the certain things, I'm going to let y'all know what these certain things are. So as we go in, the first certain thing, as we mentioned before, is tape. I believe always having tape with me, and that's why I carry this so I can have it and I'm not scrambling around or having to run anywhere because you never know when you have have to like something falls out IV falls out you're doing blood work you need tape the second thing that is most essential to me I think in this bag is my bandage scissors people at work are always asking me for scissors and the main thing they know I tell them is you're gonna give them back right um, scissors are so important for your shift guys um, cutting people's t-shirts off um, cutting bandages off like just anything you need done scissors are very important so if you don't have some bandage scissors already I will try to tag and link down below for some Amazon scissors um, I think these I believe I got off Amazon but yes the next thing in here that's most essential to me is my pill splitter. Um, one thing with the pill splitter is when you are carrying it like this and using it with multiple patients, just make sure you're keeping it clean and deconned. And if for any reason you have isolation patients, you want to ask your institution if they have the ones that are disposable or one use. But I keep this with me because there are so many times when I'm in the hospital and there's pills that are not scored and I need to split. And they don't always have pill splitters, so I definitely keep this with me and I just make sure I clean it after each use. I also had a very mini pill crusher. Um, again, this is should be only used one per patient and cleaned, but I use this for emergencies. Now, if um, our pill crusher at work is nowhere to be found or I have to crush one tiny little pill, I simply just place it in here and then I screw this on and it'll crush it. Um, I know you guys have seen the TikToks about how to crush pills also, so we do have more, you know, different ways to do that, but I still keep this with me um, just in case. Again, only use if I can't find the one at work. If I can find the one at work, I just use that one because it's more powerful but this is my little buddy just in case so some of the other stuff I have in here guys is just generic stuff I keep a spoon in case we are out of spoons I keep a fork in here in case a patient asks me for a fork I also have some alcohol swabs those are most important and then I keep my little diabetes man um we got these at work for being like diabetes champions so it basically is a good educational tool to tell people where they can inject their insulin so you guys see the thighs the stomach and then like the bottom and the fat pads of the back of the arm. So I use this just for like education purposes and to tell my patients like, hey, new um, diabetic insulin, this is what we're gonna do. So I keep him with me as well. I find the cow bag very handy, but one thing I will tell you guys when you are using it, this is a simple bag I think I got from like Victoria's Secret years ago, is to make sure it's something that you can actually clean and wash off. So I use the alcohol wipes at the end of my shift to clean this and it's been good so far. And make sure it's something that, um, you know, your institution is okay with you having I think different people have heard different complaints I've always had mine with me at one time you guys know I used to carry the bigger bag and I did have some people say something to me about that so I just switched to the smaller one and I've been okay since but again I keep it with me at all times if it's not with me it's with my cow or underneath and you know just infection protocol making sure you're keeping it clean and you know washed down so while we're talking about infection protocol things, one thing I've been doing recently, especially with the new pandemic, is I have been carrying a spray bottle with me, guys. So I keep a spray bottle of 70% isopropyl alcohol with me. Um, we're, when I'm at work, I use the wipes and everything to clean down like my desk in my area. But in the event that one, the wipes aren't available, because sometimes we spend like time just looking for wipes, I don't know why, or if I'm somewhere like at the Pixis or anything like that or using the keyboards in the rooms with the patients, I will use this spray bottle, quick spray, get me a napkin, wipe it down, and go ahead and go about my, my business. So I do like to keep an alcohol bottle with me on my cow and, you know, again, check with your infection protection protocol, things like that. But it's just what I've been using while this pandemic is here. Many of you guys know I'm a fan of the scrub cap. So I've been wearing a scrub cap at work since um, the pandemic started. It's been a way to kind of put some ease on me. And I'm not saying this is like a medically proven fact 
but I feel like personally as a person who does not wash their hair every day cannot wash their hair every day because I was doing that when the pandemic first started and I was losing a lot of hair I feel like this is a way for me to kind of just keep my hair protected so I've been wearing these um, on my head um, you can get these from anywhere guys Amazon has them um, I think my girl Dominique Dooley has a shop if I can tag her down below she has those in her shop um, online anywhere you can get them but I think these are great they come in all different colors they're very cute they're still professional um, don't wear your bonnet to work I've seen that don't do that y'all don't do that <laughs> Um, you, if you want to wear your bonnet, wear it under this. I've done that, but don't wear just your plain bonnet out to work. So make sure you get a, um, you know, scrub cap. They're fun, they're effective, and, um, they just kind of keep you safe and keep you out of ease of mind, if I may say that. Other things that were in my bag, I keep a stack of masks just in case there's any issues at work. I really haven't had any issues with regular surgical masks. Now, we won't talk about the whole N95 situation last year. I just don't even want to go back there. But um, I keep a pack of regular masks with me just in case. I also keep what I like to call a personal bag. So, I know you guys are like, how many bags do you have? I don't carry this one around with me. This is like if I got to use the bathroom, if I got to go downstairs, etc. There's like, I think I carry like some medicine like aspirin if I need it for a headache. I have deodorant. I have tissues, gum. So, this is like my girl pack I like to call it my girl pack so I like to just carry this I keep this in my bag while I'm at work but if I need to like you know you're on your period you got to go to the bathroom this has all those essentials in there so I won't go through everything but if you need something to carry like your pads or like your medications or if you need like deodorant or anything like that I think it's fun to have one of these I have one of these in my purse I have one of these in my car anywhere I'm at I have a girl pack another thing that you guys are probably very familiar with are the shields so I do have my shield for work um this is one of them one of I'm actually going to tag a super good one that I found that I've been using recently this one's just been in my bag but I have another one that I got off Amazon where you can actually flip it up and flip it down so I will tag that um, I know stoggles are one of the biggest trends right now. I want to get a pair, but if any of you guys are familiar with them, please let me know. Can I wear them with glasses? Because I wear my glasses to work. I don't wear contacts to work. So I didn't know if they would be, you know, helpful or they would hurt more. So just let me know if any of you guys use those with glasses and what's been the experience. But that's why I've been sticking to the shields because um, as long as you have a good shield, you usually will be okay with glasses. So as you guys remember from before last time when I talked to you guys, I always keep a organizer in my bag so one of the biggest things with my organizer is a report sheet this is the one I actually use from my old floor and it's literally just written out and I photocopied it guys um I have an updated one now for the floor that I'm on if you guys want me to do an updated what's on my nurse I think cheat sheet I called it um just let me know and I can do a new video on that but I usually keep those in here and then the other things I keep in here this is like a 12 pocket organizer I got from Walmart very cheap I keep some of my CEU certificate Certificates in one section I keep my competencies in another section and I keep one section for shreds now I think that's mainly my pink folder I used to have a red folder but if I for any reason bring papers home and don't realize that you get home you clean out your pockets I always put them back in here so it reminds me when I open the folder to go and take those papers to the shredder okay guys so we're reaching the end of the video so I'm gonna just mention a couple other things that I keep with me so one thing I always keep with me when I go to work is just a padlock um, this is a combination lock I've literally had this combination lock since I was like in sixth grade y'all it's crazy I can't believe I still have it but I use this um, and I keep it in my bag in case I go to different floors and you know I have my things with me I always carry my wallet and my key well I carry my wallet and my airpods with me I don't leave them in a bag at work because I just feel like those are like two of the most expensive things I have and if they go missing I'm gonna be sad so I keep a pocket wallet I've learned that I have a big wallet I don't use it anymore because I work at the hospital I slip that in my scrub pocket and my airpods are clipped to it and I stick that in my pocket as well I don't know y'all is it out here thundering <laughs> And one of the last things you guys have probably seen this millions of times, I think this was just in my school essentials video, is my whiteboard clipboard. 
And the good thing about this at work is you can easily just fold it in half and stick it in your pocket or fold it in half for HIPAA reasons to keep everything out of view. So I use this specifically to carry my S bars around at work so I don't lose them um, and just help me keep track. I also keep some cheat sheets on here as well. So like for instance, I have like a discharge cheat sheet which basically just tells me about some of the educational points that I need for when I'm doing my discharge paperwork on certain procedures that we do on our unit or recover from on our unit. Um, I also have the recent COVID vaccine policy, um, mainly for like patients or how to order it because we are now giving the vaccine at work. Um, some other things I have on here is since I started on a new unit, you guys know I'm now taking care of patients with um, heart vascular and post cardiac um, procedures. So with that, I have a whole PowerPoint on here since I'm like a newbie to that section and newbie to that specialty. Um, I have a whole PowerPoint on here that just reviews like some of the post procedural things we have to do. So I keep that on here as a reference sheet. And that's another reason I like this clipboard because I can kind of keep stuff that I need. And then I do have some copies of my new um, report sheet, which I feel like I'm going to change again. But I do have that on here as well. So like I said, if you guys want an updated video, really much has not changed. But um, I can do that for you guys if you request it. The last thing I do is on the back of my um, clipboard. And I won't show you guys just for HIPAA and privacy reasons. I keep a sticky note and I tape it to my clipboard. And it's all the important numbers. So like I have my manager's number on here. I have our cath lab phone number. I have our OR phone number. Specifically to like the team leaders and the managers for those sections. I also have the captain's phone number. So if there's any a chance at work where we get a patient or if we get a patient and the doctor has already signed off, you usually have to reach out to the captain who is the doctor that will take over that case. And I have that phone number written on here as well. And I do have a list of the doctor's numbers actually because we have gotten a new list of those. So I have all that on here. So it's just a great reference tool for you at work to have. And I'm always going to have it because it's my clipboard. So that's that. Alright guys, so that's the end of this What's in My Nursing Bag video. I hope I was some help to you guys. Again, as I go through a lot of these things, I'm wondering if anything much has changed. And I think the main thing that's changed is I've tried to condense a lot. And I've made a lot of um, infection prevention changes. So example, the alcohol bottle, the shield, the... Um, head scrub cap and I've also learned that less is more too when you're bringing it into the hospital so like I told you guys I used to have that carrying pink bag I had it back here a couple minutes ago and I would carry my life in there y'all like everything and I really took that bag and I cleaned everything out and I really just put only the stuff I need for there and only like no food products no chapstick um unscented lotion is okay y'all seen I had my jerkins in my bag but I really tried to take out any element that would increase the chance of infection or increase the chance of you know transmission of different things so that's one thing you really have to make sure it's okay to you know make sure you have your essentials for work but make sure you're protecting yourself make sure you're protecting your family and make sure you're protecting your patients by making sure you're getting things that are easily to be cleaned that won't transmit and that aren't going to be used on multiple people you have to always keep that in mind even when you're using your equipment at work your vital signs machines your pulse oxes things like that they should be in essentially cleaned in between each patient now have I always seen this done no um, but they definitely need to be cleaned in between each patient especially if they're isolation patients they just need their own stuff but anywho guys I just wanted to stop by update you guys on my bag make sure you guys are staying you know up to date with all things nursing on my channel if you want more videos make sure you comment down below so I know what to post next and thanks so much for tuning in mm -hmm.